Good afternoon. I'm Monisa Klein here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio in San Diego. And uh, joining me today all the way from London is Jan Tachka, who is the president of Shell Aviation. Jan, welcome. Thank you very much. It's great to have you. Thank you for having me. Hope you had an uneventful ride into, uh, into the U.S. and into Indeed. San Indeed. Diego. Not only right. uneventful, but also very nice, very oh, pleasant. Good. Yeah. That's even better. As yes, a former indeed. airline person, that's music to our ears. It went, it went really well. Thank you. So how has the conversation around SAF evolved since the last GBTA convention when we were together in Orlando? What's the current state of play with SAF? That's a good question. Thank you for that. The, the conversation has evolved from in the beginning, it was predominantly amongst the leading airlines. Um, it was airlines and industry, I should say, corporate flyers. It has evolved from there into a conversation very broad, many, many more people, many, many more companies involved. Uh, it has helped that the IATA has declared the aim to be net zero by 2050, very clearly. Mm -hmm. We also see on the supply side, we see more supply coming on stream, so more sustainable aviation fuel, more stuff is coming on stream. And we see more agreements being signed. So Good. there is momentum, which is, which is really helpful. So talk about what Shell's doing. I mean, can you expand a little bit about that? Absolutely. That, particular that is pretty much along those three points I just mentioned. Um, on the one hand, we keep supply, we keep investing in our supply production. So we are building a plant, a bio plant in Rotterdam. We will be building the next one in Singapore. We are looking at two plants in the US, another one in Europe. So on the supply side, investments are coming. Uh, we also have started signing agreements, okay. two handful of agreements, starting very soon to, to, to deliver a sustainable aviation fuel. Um, and again, we are engaging, as you can see here on GBTA, we are engaging with the wider industry. Now we are talking to corporate flyers. We've just launched Avilia. It is a blockchain-based book and claim platform where corporate customers can buy environmental attributes, so basically the benefit of SAF, directly from us. Uh, we are working together with Amex GBT, so a lot is happening, I can wow, say. Wow, it sure is. So what exactly can the business travel industry do to scale SAF? Yeah, the business travel, the, the, the corporate industry, the corporate travelers, they, they need to understand and they sometimes I think underestimate how much influencing how much purchase power they have influencing mm, power good point. so they could buy more stuff send clear demand signals that demand signals needed for the industry to de-risk investments in supply infrastructure the you know buying stuff comes at a higher cost we realize this and it's not easy but it would help if it's no longer seen only as a cost disadvantage but also as a, as a tool, as a lever to decarbonize. And your corporate carbon intensity will become over time a competitive advantage. The, I can say the cleaner you run your operations, the cleaner you run your house, the cleaner your people travel, the more competitively you will be advanced in comparison to others. And that lens is a new lens. And, and that is something the corporate industry, they should, they should hopefully see it from that side. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, you know, sustainability is the top, top topic here at convention, right? Yeah, we started yeah. talking about it the last couple of years, but really forefront here. And we've got the uh, sustainability pavilion here. Yeah. Um, a lot of the sessions are talking about sustainability. In closing, is there anything else that you'd like to say about this initiative? And I think uh, you, you, you just said it. It's really good to see that sustainability from, you know, in the previous years, somewhere in the corner, it's now pretty, pretty much in the yes, center of the forefront. conversation, which is really nice. I think my, my closing words would just be, the task is very doable, but it's a big, big challenge. And we can only overcome, we can only manage if we, if we collaborate and come together as an industry. The investments needed, the work on the policy and advocacy side is, is significant. So if we collaborate and come together, then it's very doable. And uh, I hope we see us again, and GBTA is a good place for this. Yes. Jan, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you much. Thank you for being here with us and uh, sharing your pearls of wisdom. And uh, we hope to see you on the convention floor. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Monisa Klein here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio.